So it turns out we were wrong, and honestly, I'm glad about it, like really glad. For months, a lot of us in the drone community had been absolutely convinced, borderline certain, that the DJI Mini 5 Pro was gonna break that sacred 250 gram weight limit. You know, the one, the magic number that means you can skip certain licensing and registration hoops in many countries, cross it, and suddenly you're in forms and fees territory. Stay under it, and you're in grab and fly freedom mode. And I mean, can you blame us for expecting the worst? A 1 inch sensor, LiDAR obstacle avoidance, and more onboard sensors, plus processing hardware that's likely far more capable than previous mini models. On paper, all that sounded like a one way ticket to, sorry, you're over the limit, please register and pay the drone tax. But somehow, DJI pulled off the impossible, and I'm not complaining, but <laughs> not one bit. In fact, I'm impressed. Oh, and before we get deep into this, if you love drones as much as we do, go ahead and subscribe. Um, that way you don't have to rely on your friends sending you drone news at 2 a.m. like, bro, have you seen this? Anyway, uh, credit where it's due, this comes from Jasper Ellens via DroneXL. Um, his source didn't even spot the C0 class sticker on the bottom. But Ellens? He zoomed in like his eyeballs had a built-in telephoto lens, I can only imagine the grin, when he saw that little sticker staring back. This whole situation reminds me of what Insta360's been doing with their new 360 degree drone tech, squeezing crazy capabilities into a ridiculously small package. DJI's essentially done the same thing here, they didn't just keep it light, they kept it light while adding stuff that normally belongs in much heavier drones. It's a bit like taking a sports car and somehow giving it the towing capacity of a pickup truck without making it heavier. So why is this such a big deal? Well, up until now, if you wanted a drone with a one inch camera, you were looking at something north of 500 grams. That meant more paperwork, more restrictions, and more headaches, both now and in the future. But with this, Totally different ball game. Now, um, about that LiDAR, the, the forward-facing one. Current minis use visual sensors that struggle in low light or blinding sunlight. LiDAR doesn't care. It's all laser pulses, baby. That means accurate obstacle detection at night, in fog, or against flat, low-contrast backgrounds. Think safer landings on boats, small rooftops, or rugged terrain. Even spotting tiny wires or uneven surfaces before it's too late. And get this, the gimbal could rotate up to 330 degrees, that's around 225 degrees of usable movement for video, even during wild flight moves. Imagine corkscrew shots, smooth horizon shifts, and dynamic reveals. Um, stuff you normally only see from a Mavic 4. Um, it feels like DJI is pushing the mini line beyond just cute and portable and into cinematic beast territory. They've also tweaked the hardware, tap and twist prop changes, a redesigned prop guard that's more DJI flip style, rounded and swept back prop tips for quieter flights and slightly better efficiency, and quasi ducted guards for a bit of aerodynamic magic. Oh, and there's a side button that lets you launch the drone without even touching the controller. Rumor says it'll power on automatically when you unfold it, which is dangerously convenient. If you've been following the leaked box shots and numbers, you know the drill. If not, well, buckle up, because this Mini 5 Pro is shaping up to be way more than just mini, it's rocking a one inch sensor. Yep, the same kind of big sensor magic you'd expect on something heavier, but somehow still in a mini body. It's paired with the equivalent of a 24mm lens and an f1.8 aperture, which means two things. Way better low light shots, and that smooth, creamy depth of field we all love. Oh, and it's not just pretty pictures, this thing can push 4K at 120 frames per second. That's a step up from the old 100 FPS, and sure, it's not gonna blow your socks off, but slow motion fans will definitely be smiling. Now here's where it gets fancy. Um, there's a 48mm med tele mode. Sounds like something you'd need a manual for, but really it's DJI using that big sensor to crop in digitally without wrecking your image quality, meaning you get that sweet zoomed in cinematic look without lugging around a zoom lens. Perfect for pulling your subject out from the background and making your shots look way more pro. 
older minis, um, they were stuck in wide angle world. Um, great for landscapes. Not so great if you're telling a more intimate story. This fixes that. Battery wise, it's rated for 36 minutes. Yeah, that's only a couple minutes more than the Mini 4 Pro, but considering it's got more sensors and tech on board, that's actually a solid win. And no, it's not the mythical 50 minute battery people were dreaming about. That's likely for the heavier plus pack. Speaking of sensors, the Mini 5 Pro is not just about LiDAR, it's got full omnidirectional obstacle sensing. It can track you whether you're running, cycling, skateboarding, you name it. And it won't freak out or lose track mid-chase. Now here's the tricky part. No online store has it listed yet, so as per Jasper Ellen's DJI's saving this one for a late September reveal. But with the way things are, a US launch might not be in the cards if more leaks drop early. We'll probably just get teased until the official specs and promo material roll out in September. As for price, my gut says it's going to be close to $900, but I'd love to hear your guess. What do you think this little beast is going to cost? On another note, while DJI might be skipping a US launch for its next drone, something else is taking off today. The Anti-Gravity Drone, a brand new consumer drone line from Insta360, is officially making its debut on August 14th, 2025 at 9am EDT. This is Insta360's first step into the drone world, and they're going straight after DJI with a strong focus on 360 degree aerial storytelling. The Anti-Gravity is the first sub 249 gram drone to capture 8K 360 degree video, built for beginners, creators, travelers, and families. It's designed to be as easy as possible to fly, no advanced piloting skills or complicated pre-flight checklists required. The drone's invisible design hides itself in 360 degree footage, likely using Insta360's advanced stitching tech from the X5 camera, and it packs in safety smarts like payload detection to stop misuse or unauthorized tweaks. The timing is interesting, DJI is facing US market hurdles with security reviews and supply chain issues, and Insta360 clearly sees an opportunity. With anti-gravity, they're not just entering the drone market, they're aiming to carve out a niche for creative 360 degree content. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. That's all for now, and catch you in the next one. Peace.